And here's what I learned. It's so funny you guys say that. Here's what I learned. Women spend more time in collective thought for the betterment of other people mm. that they forget they have to be optimal to be mm -hmm. better for mm -hmm. other people. Yeah. So I get women at the end, like, well, ain't no more rub on the tires. The oil ain't been changed <laughs> in 7,000 miles. <laughs> and all they want to believe is that they're not going to die. Mm -hmm. I promise you won't die. Mm -hmm. I won't let you die because it costs too much money for you to die. <laughs> and also something that you say often, Greg, and if you'll tell the people, not only yeah. do you want them to know that they're not going to die or they're not going to feel like they're going to yeah. die. Tell us also how you want people to feel when you're training them. Because I know this is important to you. It's very important. It's funny you say it like that. It's two things that, that's important to me. It, concepts. If you feel like you understand how to do something, and I've put enough in you to continue to try these things mm -hmm. and be okay with screwing it up without the thought of feeling like a screw up. Like be okay with taking all of them attempts to learn so we can master that. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how tall you are. What is it that you want? How much time do we have? Mm -hmm. Not you can and can't do this. Mm -hmm. This is my goal for you. Listen, you came to see me. Your time is the most important thing. You paid me for your time. In that time, you want a result. Why are you here? What is it that you want? How much time do we have? If I can put a concept of confidence in you mm -hmm. based on knowing how to do certain things, it ain't nothing you can't do. And grown-ups celebrate victories way better than kids. <laughs> Why is that, you think? Because they don't have a chance to win as a grown-up. Mm -hmm. That's true. I, I mean, how many mm -hmm. grown-ups really get chances to win after 18 years old? Yeah. Everything is a, you did the job you were supposed to do, or yo ass sucks. Yeah. Just to give you an example of, you know, grown-ups just celebrating any win when they can, mm -hmm. is I sent my husband a text message two nights ago that said, I just finished building the lamp from Target, and I only have one screw left over. Uh, that's a win, that's but you feel like I a champion. I'm Because you're right, you don't have much things to celebrate. Right. And I was I mean, happy, and he wasn't excited. And I was like, why? It's a small thing. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, I'm going I'm to tell on myself. Now, the other day, I made some chicken that was better than any other recipe on the planet. Oh, then I yeah. backed door last night, and the chicken was all right, and I couldn't understand where I went wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm still upset about that. So in the next couple of days, I'm going to go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. and try to get that victory. Right. Why? I ain't about to check it. I don't even like cooking. But <laughs> that feeling. Mm -hmm. Listen, ladies, I'm telling you. I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart. You're going to just get upset with me if we go over time. This is the real reason why, why I deal with women and their kids mm -hmm. in this space. That's your specialty? Yes. Mm. Here's why. The woman, without a woman, there is no us. I don't care what anybody thinks about that. That's logic. I mean, I'm not saying all women are great. Some are terrible. I'm not saying, I mean, I'm just being honest. Greg, this know. is not a hey, relationship but, right. show. But I'm just, I'm just being honest. But what we'll I'm saying is they're the most important beings on the planet. They really are. And women spend so much time making everybody else the most important being on the planet. And they wonder why they can't function. So in that hour, I literally get to see people be that person that they are trying to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they gave me that chance to help them do it. Mm -hmm. I have to give them every, not everything I got, because if you got five cents and they need $500, everything I got ain't worth five cents. 
So let's fill up everything I got and put it in the bag and see what they can use. But if I can do that for her, and I live in sports performance, mm -hmm. and I see the issues, and I can walk you through all of it, would I be wrong for not at least attempting to give you an opportunity to get an opportunity? Somebody gave me one. Yes, mm -hmm. getting back to your hand up. Like somebody yeah. gave right. me an opportunity. To whom much is so when you sit across from me and say, I, I want to play in college, mm -hmm. I stop looking at the parents and go, do you really <laughs> want to play in college? Right. Do mm -hmm. you? Because I know this means y'all want to play in college. <laughs> but because like, if you really do, I know how. Mm -hmm. So guess what? That's where we're going. Don't listen to people about your ability or your height or just listen. I'll tell you that when we get closer, when it's more honest about whether you got a chance or not. But I know it's divisions. It's hundreds of schools everywhere for you to take that four years of tennis, golf, soccer, volleyball, football, and become a better human being. And. Your mama can keep up with you in these most stressful times, and we just saved her hundreds of thousands of dollars for you to be a better person for everybody else. Mm -hmm. That's real. That ain't hope. Mm -hmm. Let's just go down the list of people who've gone to school that their parents couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. Let's go down the list of cancer patients who were about to die and decided to take care of their body. Let's, let's really talk about, let's you're going to have to give us that. about 10 minutes, well, man. No, let's talk about care. that. And I'll, let's talk about that yeah. really quick. I'm going to ask you one question mm -hmm. and we'll try to make it a, okay. uh, cliff notes version. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll do my best. I promise. Well, two questions will go one and two. Okay. Um, you specialize in two different types of clientele. So one a, adult women, and uh, well, I mean, you do train some guys, yeah, really yeah, adult women. Yeah, and the second yeah. is student athletes. Correct. So two part question. One, will you tell me one Cliff Notes version <laughs> story where you had an extreme impact on a person's life, not just lifestyle, but on a person's life, one of your adult clients? And then on, on part B of that question, on a, a high school athlete's life. Well, I'm going to say a name, but she had more of an impact than uh, I think I had on her. Katri okay. Katrina Moore. Katrina Moore might be. Do I know Katrina Moore? You know Katrina yeah, Moore. Okay. Katrina Moore got the biggest, brightest, most beautiful smile you ever got. Katrina Moore, and I don't care if she gets mad about me saying this, Katrina Moore had a stroke and the smile beat the stroke. Mm -hmm. That's how beautiful her smile is. <laughs> So Katrina Moore came out to boot camp about eight or nine years ago, and she was giving it everything she had. And I had them running one night, and it was a little bit chilly, and she made that corner. And I looked, and my eyes got big because I heard that hamstring pop. Ooh, oh. And I went home, and I was sad for about four weeks because I watched all of it leave her. Oh. And I got it. I understood it, and I called her, and I checked on her, and she got better. It took her a while to get better. And then Katrina got sick. Katrina got cancer. But I, all I could think was, eh, cancer can't be a smile like that. So the moment I get a chance to rap with her, then she got to come on in. So she came on after treatment and getting better, and she wanted to spend some time and make her better. And she came in there, and she got after it. Uh, taught me a lot about her. Taught me a lot about me and the work that she was willing to put in and what I had to know to really help her, not gas her up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because a person comes with you with some sort of ailment, yeah, you so have I, to be I educated. I had to know, to, yeah. yeah. So the studying was fun, actually, because I, I could add things to it. Mm -hmm. And her, her personality allowed us to keep in better. So, of course, cancer went into remission. She did her thing. How's Katrina doing today? Cancer came, I'm getting to you. Cancer came back, mm. you know, and she had to have a uh, chemo. And uh, I didn't get a chance to, to help her physically, but I knew cancer didn't stand a chance. I mean, what, six treatments, cancer was gone, fully gone. She high-fived uh, the cancer right on out the door, choked it out, left it at the door. Oh, and many now, blessings, Katrina. Her life is so great that all of her adult kids are grown and that she got a magnificent job offer and she's about to leave us and go live her life uh, completely sickness free and that smile and all 32 brights is still shining but this is what I learned 
I learned that these things happen to people. Mm. These things people happen to these things happen to people that you like. Mm. And it's not the things that happen to people. Is there anything I did to instill in her that helped her for even one second? Because if so, then damn it, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. That's, That's good. I, Greg Peace, athlete. Greg mm-hmm. Peace. Shout out to Greg Peace. He had the hardest this road. This is part two. Yes. Hardest road I've ever seen any athlete of his caliber. How, and I say this with confidence. How old was, around what age yeah. was he when you got him in your studio? I, I met Greg Peace when he was a sophomore in high school. Okay. And I looked at his dad. Shout out to Greg Peace Sr. And his mom, Sherry. I looked out and, and looked right at his dad and said, that kid is the most pure corner I've ever seen in high school. That's how good he was. Mm-hmm. But he was even better. He's, he's an even better human being. You hear people say that, you'll never meet a more respectful. You'll never meet a more fly. He dresses better than everybody I ever met. You've never meet anybody that cool with that kind of swag and that kind of work ethic. I watched this kid get mistreated by teams, abused. He told all the things he couldn't do. And he still went about his business. The biggest moment for me is he graduated. Like he, he he went to like three different schools. Two of them literally mistreated him. He took it like a man, most mature thing I've ever seen. It was so mature, I called his dad, Chris, and was like, hey, man, you tell Greg, he told me a whole lot. Cause I, I know you and I would have beat up 17 people on the way, running, running out the door trying to get away from the police. But he... He's about to get married on the 27th of this month. He graduated from um, Texas State early, as a matter of fact, before his eligibility was up. And he's about to get married to an amazing, wonderful, beautiful young lady. And he has a job making more money than me. And he might be 23 years old. That means more to me than anything we've ever done. Because I drove to San Marcos to watch him walk across that stage. And y'all would have thought that was my nephew or somebody. I'm standing there next to this old white dude, and we making the same. He was, I was like, that's your granddaughter? No, nah, that's so-and-so and so-and-so so granddaughter, but I know him. So we both over there like this because that, those four years gave him something he wouldn't have got without those four years. Those four years under your tutelage? Of college. Of college. And I just feel like. Somewhere in that story, I had something to do. Yeah. In that book, in the chapter of, in his life, mm-hmm. if we're watching that movie, they're going to be like, man, this dude Greg been in more movies than Samuel L. Jackson, even if it's for that long. Mm-hmm. Because that, I know that's why I'm here. That's why I tell women all the time, like, if you hear the price, it's going to be, it's going to sound like something you don't hear, but what do we want? What are we actually trying? Because what, we can go get a diamond ring from Zales or we can go to Walmart in the little, and I can give you a Walmart ring, but mm-hmm. you'll be back replacing that ring in three months. Or I can give you everything I got and you get everything you want from me. Yeah, there are certain things you're not going to get. With a $10 membership, you, that's what mm-hmm. you're going to get. You slide your card through, mm-hmm. go get on a cold, dirty piece of equipment, mm-hmm. buy yourself and do your thing. And if that's mm-hmm. what you want, some people want that. I don't want a trainer. I don't want to be bothered. You know, I don't want anybody here. I don't want to shower or whatever the case may be, you know. And then some get people. Four or is that too much? Some people uh-huh. want help. Yeah. They want premium help. They yeah. want exclusive access. They want you to call them, text them. They want yeah. education. They want nutrition. And they want you to know it. that they have cancer and that they have to be treated differently and the supplements mm-hmm. that they have to take are different than the supplements someone would take if they were um, postpartum they also, or prenatal. They, they also want you to know that they, you ain't, pay for that. That they ain't handicapped. They right. ain't, they, like, we're, I'm going, now listen. I ain't going to treat you no different. I'm going to treat you the way you're supposed to be treated to get you where you want to be. Yeah. Right. But you ain't no baby. We don't, there is no sympathy. I live in a place of empathy, but I don't feel sorry for you. We're in here to get something done because sorry kills both of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't have time to be sorry. We got time to get to a certain spot. Grace, so what's on the line? Um, 
Man, I get nervous about comments, Chris. I ain't gonna tell them what they say about me. I wanna well, see. Nika said, Greg is a smart dude, always been able to figure it out. He used to say, I'm going to push you, not until you're uncomfortable. I'm going to push you until what you're doing makes me uncomfortable. He always, he always knew so. I was stronger than what I thought I was. And then Miss Sherry said, uh, he really is true, is his true authentic self with everyone and empty. Mm-hmm. I agree. Paul Robinson. Not everybody likes that, Chris. You are, <laughs> you, are, you are the people's man. <laughs> and um, Michelle said that you are always paying attention. And to answer the question about being uncomfortable in a gym, I'm here because I'm lost. I need guidance and I need someone to hold me accountable. Oh, yeah, we can do all that. That's easy. I'm, I'm like the gnat at the barbecue, and you don't get away into the barbecue, it's gone the way it is you ask for something let's go get that but make sure you want what you ask for you know take all you eat eat all you take greg i was just looking at some of the comments on uh here it's quite a few tcu fans shout out to all them frogs they might have some fly to say <laughs> um so greg uh par parting notes for people yeah. uh the people that are listening, the yep. moms and the dads of student athletes, yep. um, the the women that uh, are trying to lose twenty yep. pounds uh, postpartum yep. of the baby they had sixteen years ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first, the first. Uh, what yeah. what do you want to say? Yeah. yeah. What do you want to say to the people? Yeah. Parting notes. Th this is this is the truth. We we can help you, and I mean really help you, and we can we can help you well beyond six weeks 20 pounds high fives and then three months later you concerned about that we jumping off brother uh we can actually help you uh gracie leave on the line the website with it. we can help you transform in the direction you want to go we just want to know leave on the line <laughs> we just want to know we really want to know what it is you want and you're going to get everything you can from us. Now, when it comes to athletes, we're really good at what we do. Like mm -hmm. We're one of the best at what we do, and uh, we have receipts to prove it. So we just ask that if you, if you believe it, if you don't believe it, if you're trying to get a faster time, if you're trying to get a scholarship, just give us a chance. Mm -hmm. we, it's more than 100 kids in 10 years, and I've had a lot of help with a lot of amazing coaches do that. More than 67 kids in six years multiple divisions look we do this not because it sounds cool not because ladder drills are cool we do this because somebody gave us a chance i mean that so let us give you a chance greg i i love everything that you're saying 